question 2 September was 2024 in the diagram A B D is a triangle where the length of A C is 50 centimeters and the length of C D is D centimeters we have to find correct to one decimal place the value of D and also find the the distance BD BD this very distance all right so what do we do this is going to be a right angle triangle which we are going to employ trigonometric what ratio properties let's ignore for a second the line from C to B if you look at a B D you will see a right angle triangle right then if we ignore the line A B and A C this will also give us a right angle triangle so there are two right angle triangle here which will allow us to use use the trigonometric word ratio so let's see if I am going to in this question we are going to draw the diagram again in our solution in the course of our presentation we are going to draw this again but i don't have enough space so i'm going to assume i have redrawn the diagram and label this area as what h that is the height so now if i look at this let me just say from triangle c d d c b d I am taking that as a right angle triangle. I'll look at this angle as facing here. That is the opposite, right? Then the CD here is going to be the adjacent. Let me use A and circle it. I'll be clean that. Then this becomes the hypotenuse. And in trig ratios, we ignore the side that is not being labeled, which we don't need. So using our so we are going to see that we are ignoring the age so we ignore the one that contains age and leaving the tour meaning from triangle CBD I can have the tan of the angle 70 degrees is equals to the opposite O T for tan O for opposite that will be age divided by the A for adjacent, that will be what? D. So now let's make H the subject, the side that we are looking for here. Let's make it the subject. This is going to be over 1. So your H will be equals to D will multiply the tan of 4, 70 degrees. Let's label the first equation as this expression, this equation. Now let's take the bigger triangle so from the triangle a b d a b d the full triangle still i'll be having the longest the vertical side here as the opposite of the angle 30 then from a to d as the adjacent so that will still go for tan so i'll also be having the tan of the angle 30 equals to the opposite side divided by the adjacent. And what is the adjacent? Right away from here, 50 plus D. The length of this is 50 plus D. So that will make 50 plus the D. We are going to make it the subject again. So if you cross multiply, your H will be equals to 50 plus D multiplying the tan of 30. So that also gives us the second equation. So there are two equations that make use of H. H is the same here. H is the same. So we can equate the two equations. Or we can just say equating equation 1 and 2. Meaning beginning with the first one, which is D tan 70 degrees equals to here we can expand don't forget 50 can multiply this will give you 50 the tan of 30 plus d the tan of 30 
degree. So D, D, that become a common factor or you can say they are the same terms we can group as like them. What do we do? So we are bringing this here as positive to become negative, which means subtracting D times 30 from both sides of the equation. That give us D times 70 minus D times 30 equals to 50 times 30 degrees. We are looking for D in this case now is the only unknown. So we factorize the D out to make it only one. So let's do that factorization. D into bracket. The tan of 70 degrees minus the tan of 30 degrees that leaves us a fourth. 50 tan 30. So I can divide by the baggage, the SS baggage, to have the D on its own. So that means that dividing through by this will make D equals to 50 tan 30 degrees. Divided by tan 70 degrees minus tan 30 degrees. So we need to put this in our calculator in order to know what that value will be. And that will be giving us 13.3022. Let me have it end here. So we are going to listen to the question correct to one decimal place. What are you finding? D. What is the D for? This is the D we are looking for. So the first part of the question, we are looking for the value of D. The value of D is going to be 13.3 centimeters. One decimal places and the unit of measurement is in centimeters. So let's see what the second part of the question will be. We are finding DB, right? The length of BD is going to be H. We can find the H here or we can find it there also. H equals to 50 plus D times this or H equals to D times this. So I only say D which is 13.3022. Don't forget, this has been truncated to be this. So we use this one. Then multiply by the tan or fourth. 70 degrees. So let's try that on our calculator and see what that will give us. So 13.3022 times the tan of 70 degrees. That will be giving you 36.54749. Nine. So, 5, which we can approximate to become 36.5 centimeters. So, the distance that we are looking for, the vertical distance here will be 36.5, then from C to D will be 13.3 uh, centimeters. Again, the concept built into this question is understood by you. If no, ask questions in the comment section, like, share, and subscribe.